of success is to, one, know what you want, two, say what you want, and three, commit to what you want. You have to be committed to what you want, even if you look and feel stupid doing it at the time. Of course, let me just make a little side note here. Whatever it is that you want, as long as it's not going to hurt you or someone else. Okay. <laughs> Who in here has ever had anyone throw their books on the floor or been bullied in any sort of way, like small or big? He ignored me and he did not pick them up. So guess what happened? The end of class came, my books are still on the floor. I'm not picking them up. I know what I want. The person who threw my books on the floor is going to pick them up. I'm not the type of person who's going to cry and throw fits. I'm not the person who's even going to walk over and tell the teacher, like, <coughs> Hey, Mr. Lee, guess what? I'm putting my books on the floor. Can you make them pick them up? I was not the type of person to do that. So, <laughs> my friends, a couple of my friends tried to pick them up for me. I was like, no, you're not helping me out. He has to pick them up. I knew what I wanted. And I was saying what I wanted. So anyway, bell rings, and I'm on my way out, to, out of class with no books. Has anyone got to class with no books before? get like in trouble with a teacher? Do you ever feel stupid showing up or like silly or weird or awkward? Guess who picked up my books? Did I feel stupid? Yes. Did I look stupid? Yes. Did my friends think I was a little bit crazy? Absolutely. So that is like a light of an example as a student. Like know what you want, say what you want, even if you look stupid, go for what you want. Okay? So you said, so you said, like, to know what you want. Yes. Right? What happens if you have to, like, what would you say in terms of if something, you know you want it, but it didn't work out the way you want it, or, you, or something close to you that has to fit you? Yes, absolutely. That did not look in my camera like it did in my imagination. And you just, you adjust. You don't want to be so stubborn that you can't, like, pivot. Even if you have a traditional nine to five, there's nothing wrong with having like a regular job, right? And like going to work every day, it's totally okay. But one of the reasons a few years ago why everyone was losing their minds in like 2020 was they're like, oh my gosh, I lost my job. Or they were finding themselves doing things that they didn't really want to do because of their job, because that was the only way they could have money. So you want to have like, no matter what you're doing in life, you want to have multiple ways that you can provide for yourself. One of those ways is through business, one of those ways is creating a product. This is my product for today that I'm wearing. I think my business is a t-shirt. I literally could wake up in the morning and have it like sold. My forgiveness journal, I can literally wake up in the morning and have things that were sold. Right? So you want to have multiple ways of earning money so that when one thing does not work out, you can leave that thing and still know that you're taking care of or that you have other things that can bring you revenue. Right. <laughs> so these are some of my questions. But she can do what you can't do. Because. Because. <laughs> no, no. Like, I'm sorry. Make more money. 
I can always design a new t-shirt. I can always like get a new car. Like anything's replaceable, but my time is not replaceable. And so not only am I showing up to do your shoot and spend like an hour or two hours, depending what the time is, a day, I'm also spending time afterwards, like 